especially the 2017 to 2018, finally saw the Indian domestic two-wheeler market register a double-digit growth figure after almost five years. While this growth rate was mainly driven by the 100cc to 125cc motorcycles, the more premium category 150cc to 200cc segment grew at a rate of 44% compared to the previous financial year. This space, the 150cc to 200cc segment, is a very hotly contested space in India right now. While there were some interesting launches in this segment earlier this year, today I'm standing next to a brand new 200cc motorcycle, this time right out of the Hero stable. It's the Hero Extreme 200R. In terms of design and cosmetics, this particular motorcycle looks muscular and also edgy. You get LED headlamps at the front, LED tail lights at the rear, there's a rear grab rail, and also you get an instrument cluster that's not fully digital. That said, the handlebar of this particular motorcycle is in a slightly raised riding position. This raised riding position not only gives you a commuter motorcycle-like riding experience, uh, which you may not like it at the beginning, but once you ride, you definitely feel more comfortable. Powering the motorcycle is a 200cc air-cooled engine which produces about 18.4 bhp of power at 8000 rpm and 17.1 Nm of torque at 6000 rpm. However, I feel this particular motorcycle rides best between somewhere around 5500 rpm to 6500 rpm because that's where you feel the torque kicking in and the instant rush of power which I must admit is pretty smooth. Talking about electronics now, this particular motorcycle gets a carburetor and does not get electronic fuel injection. Both the front and the rear get disc brakes and there is no ABS on offer. However, Hero provides an option of a single channel ABS for this particular motorcycle. Also, as I mentioned earlier, there is an instrument cluster but it's not fully digital. So when it comes to electronics, that's all the Hero Extreme 200 r has to offer. Before I get to my closing words, I want to get your attention to one interesting fact. Four of the top five best-selling motorcycles in India are Hero motorcycles. These motorcycles are sub 150cc motorcycles, which means they are commuter motorcycles. And also, Hero has just one product in the 200cc plus segment. It's the Hero Charisma. Hero Charisma did really well for Hero, 
But in the last few years, it has lost significant ground thanks to its competitors evolving and also getting much better. Now, coming to the Hero Extreme 200R. Mind you, this motorcycle is still a damn good motorcycle. But the success of this motorcycle will come down to pricing. Its main rival, the TVS Apache RTR 200, starts at a price range of about 90,000 Indian rupees and goes all the way up to 1 lakh Indian rupees. If Hero has any chance of success with this particular motorcycle, it is this. They price the motorcycle for anything under 80,000 Indian rupees and leave the fate of the motorcycle to the Indian buyer for them to decide.